Police say a woman known for always taking time to help others was murdered and set on fire by a career criminal. 74-year-old Catherine Davis of Pelican Bay may have known her tenant was a danger. In fact, the city's mayor says before she died, she actually called him asking for help. Fox Wars Brandon Todd spoke with the mayor and those who knew Davis. Brandon joining us now live from the Pelican Bay Police Department. Brandon. Well, Heather, everybody that uh, knew 74-year-old Catherine Davis says she went out of her way to try and help people. And in this particular case, she was renting a room in her house to a man that turned out to be a career criminal. But police say yesterday morning that 27-year-old man was high on something and killed her. Oh, my gosh, it's crazy. It's scary. It's scary. Liz Garnica and other neighbors watched helplessly as firefighters and the chief of police in Pelican Bay tried to pull 74-year-old Catherine Davis from the fire inside her home on Lark Court. He was yelling and asking for wet towels or just anything to, you know, run back in there. And I guess by that time, it was just so bad that he couldn't even go back in there to even try to put her out or anything. But even more disturbing was what police said they learned as they arrived on scene. 27-year-old Jonathan Cyphers apparently met them in the street, seemingly high on an illegal drug, according to police. And after they talked with him, they arrested him for murdering Davis, then setting fire to her body. Cyphers was the tenant who, for the last month, was renting a room in Davis's home. She was helping this guy out, and he had only been here about a month. I know she did call them. Mayor Bill Morley may have been the last person to speak to her. She called him for help a few minutes before she was killed. She was telling me she was having a few problems with it, and I told her to call 911. And I will continue to pray for these This is people. Davis being interviewed two weeks ago by Servolution, a group from church at Azel, after they built her a brand new porch. I'm in total awe. Um, God put this in the works, and I had prayed for help and all, but nothing like this. God overdid himself. Police did not elaborate on a motive. Cyphers, according to public records, has a lengthy criminal record. Meanwhile, this small community is grieving together. You couldn't ask for a nicer woman. She's so sweet and she's out of her way to help somebody. And Davis's husband used to be on the Pelican Bay City Council uh, years ago before he passed away. And uh, the mayor said that her favorite thing to do was to work in the food bank, Heather, the food bank that the mayor had set up. Really a giving woman. Neighbors knew her well. Lots of good things to say about her. But did they tell you perhaps why she was renting to a guy that police say has such a, a huge, long criminal past? Yeah, I talked to them about that, and they said that she really just looked at the good in people and probably did that in this case, tried to see the best in, in this young man. And uh, also they were saying, and she even mentioned this in that video, parts of the video that uh, we showed you, but she said she didn't have a lot of money. So chances are, Heather, she probably also could not afford to run a background check on him either. Well, that's true, but she was so kind and giving, she might have opened her door anyway. All right, Brandon Todd, appreciate it.